G'day, I'm Ray from uh, Unique Rough and Tough Trailers from Monte in Queensland. Had a passion about building a trailer probably 30 years and um, this is my little trailer. It's all 5mm steel and 6mm steel. The floor is 3mm checker plate. It's fairly tough and I'll put wings on the sides so if I brush up against a tree it's not going to wipe my guards off. We carry 165 litres of water on board, 170 litres of fuel on board. It's got a uh, hand pump on it so we don't waste water, especially our drinking water. Full power, it's got all lighting system, gas stove, hot water system generator, chainsaw, fuel, um, washing water I suppose we call it, shower water. Spare tyre under the back, the spare tyres uh, will fit the car as well and the car will fit the trailer and the balloon tyres I can take the nerf rail off the side. I've got lifting points underneath so if I need spare tyres again I can take, I can lift the front axle up so the front axle becomes a lazy axle, it becomes just tight, chained up. I've got links underneath, put underneath the trailer to take that. I've used conventional springs and, and, uh, and axles. The reason why I went the tandem axle is um, because it walks over really sharp rocks and gullies and stuff, it supports uh, the, the trailer a lot better so if you go into a, a decent hollow section of odd, odd ground, the trailer will walk over that without any issues at all. Alright, so when we first when we first wheel into a campsite, first thing we look for is which way the sun sun's coming up. If it's coming up on the east, that's the way the boat points to try and help us out so we get a bit of shade in the morning. Um, we unclip the boat, the boat winds out the way, and then we raise the tent, 150 mil. But we only raise it about two or three inches to start with, just so because Sydney and I are only short. My wife and myself are only short, so we have a bit of trouble reaching high things. So you can do it all from the ground level, you don't have to climb around too much. The only time you have to climb around is when you put the steel bars in the side of the, in the on the, the blinds on the side of the tent. The trailer, we can go lengthways of the trailer to balance it if, if the ground's uneven. But if, if it's left to right uneven, the tent can move up to uh, four and a half, five inches. So if the ground's uneven, you don't have to dig holes for your tyres or your trailer, and you're only overnight. If you're going to stay somewhere for a week or so, it pays to get your trailer fairly tidy um, on flat ground, but if you're only overnight, it doesn't matter where the trailer's parked, you can get the bed level, and the bed's the most important part to sleep in that night, sort of thing. Yeah, so then we just, un once the boat's out of the way and the, the tent's up, we normally pull the quad off. The quad's used substantially when we go up north, it's used on all the beaches, mainly to get firewood and toilet run, so we get away from campsites. And naturally, Sydney and I go a bit of exploring when we're on the bike. Um, so yeah, everything's designed so Sydney can do it on her own, so I don't have to do it, which is good if I'm injured or something like that, Sydney can still fold the camp up. The thing with the, the boat, the boat on top of the roof, we've been to places where we've seen really, really uh, nice looking trailers with boats on top. We see husband and wife and a kid get out of the car and they start arguing who's going to lift the boat up. Mum's doing something with the kid and he's itching to get camp set up. And they can't handle the boat on their own. This one here you can handle, Cindy can handle the boat right to the ground. She needs a hand to undo it, uh, to actually take the boat off the framework, just because it's a tie down straps. But the boat's designed to cradle the, uh, the tent and over the top of the bike and protect everything when we're travelling and break the wind off the car. But when we wind the boat out of the way, it's designed to be um, self-supporting without any chains, brackets or anything like that. It'll stand up any position I put it at, right, right as far as, as, as within 10 inches from the ground the boat will go. Well, where, the, where the box is at the, front of the, at the front of the trailer there, I've got plans of um, on the next one I make. I'm going to build a shower and toilet, which when it's collapsed it'll be the same height as the tent folded, so the boat still tucks over the top of it. Um, and when we pull into a campsite, We'll have our own toilet shower. Like we, we sh have shower anyway. We've got a water system on the on board of the trailer, but it's normally one of those fold out things. And that's a pain in the backside. So we're going to put up something, an aluminium framework, an aluminium turnout with a, with a, a, a toilet in it. If somebody's got a different size quad or a different size boat, um, I will custom make it to suit their boat and their quad because all quads are different width and different lengths. So that's where it gets a bit difficult trying to make one fits all. So I'm quite happy to um, uh, custom make a trailer to suit with all my ideas, with the stuff I've got in this basically. So it'll be all uh, rubber steel, all uh, five and six mil steel right through it. So the trailer is heavy when it's empty, but you won't bend it in a hurry. Um, I've seen so many trailers up north, um, axles hanging out and bloody things broken and guards busted off and basically just deserted in the bush. So you won't leave this one behind because it'll go wherever you go. And it's designed the same width as your car. So uh, I'll make it to suit whatever car is available, what, they, what they're towing it with. And basically it's a standard track of a cruiser or a, or a Nissan Patrol sort of thing, so, which is a standard four-wheel drive width. So the trailer will follow exactly where the car goes. 
So far we've had no dramas with it and it's been a, a really good idea and everywhere we go people want to pull us over and talk about it. So if somebody's interested in, in inquiring with this they can get in contact, just give me a call and we'll see if we can talk turkey I suppose.